Hello everyone, Rudix here to talk about another RP Galooza game, Heroin Anthem 2, The Angel of Sorum. And for those of you that don't know, RP Galooza is a project I started involving playing through a huge list of RPG titles ranging from Western style to Japanese. And while I'm not a huge RPG connoisseur, I do like to dabble in them every now and then. So hopefully I can provide for you a more modern day gamers look at my experiences with them. So with that out of the way, on to Heroin Anthem 2. For anyone unfamiliar with this game that just kind of stumbled across this review on accident, Heroin Anthem 2 is a Chinese point and click style adventure game with a variety of RPG elements included in it that was released on PC around the year 2003. Heroin Anthem 2 continues the adventures of the first game of Ida and Bidan, along with a few old friends and new characters along the way. The game also shares a lot of similarities to the first game in terms of general gameplay style and mechanics. Even stuff like the magic system is the same and you can use combinations from the first game to give yourself a head start on some stronger spells early on. In fact, outside of just being a better quality game, both visually and mechanically, it really doesn't do anything different from the first game. A few things were simplified over the first game, like the grid being smaller in battle, and the UI was worked around a bit, but otherwise everything about this game still feels pretty much like the first game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's interesting that they went with a if it ain't broke don't fix it attitude when you look at how vastly different XAOC was originally or how incredibly different the Heroin Anthem Zero series is in comparison. But as a huge fan of the original game, I am glad that the games share so many similarities. Even more so because I played this game first in the series, so going backwards to Heroin Anthem 1 wasn't a downgrade because the games are super identical in nature. I will say though that this game definitely has a smoother looking definition to it and the cutscenes definitely look a lot better than the original uh, but it is pretty much a lot of the same thing. The music is also more or less the same style as the original. I still think the music for both games is amazing though and it makes me sad knowing that it's kind of wasted on a series that hardly anyone has ever heard of. I recommend this OST to people all the time that are really into video game music. It has its own unique style and really fits in well with all the areas of the game. And gameplay wise, it's still basically the same as the original game. So for anyone unfamiliar with the original game, it's a point and click adventure style game. You click around and talk to everyone in town till something happens. Uh, then you go get some item outside of town or in another town and come back and talk to everyone till something happens. Basically your older typical RPG nonsense with talking to the right people at the right time in the right order till something happens, but you also conveniently have to have some item you clicked on accidentally in the fields next to town. Ba basically that. And same as the first game, you can see the enemies in the field and attempt to dodge them or fight them depending on your mood. Mechanically, the battles are exactly the same as the first game, but instead of a 4x4 square, you get a 3x3 square. And honestly, I feel this works out better because it just feels less complicated at times compared to some of the later fights in the first game. And speaking of endgame, this game also has a lot more characters than the first game. I think by the end of Heroin Anthem 1, you only see like four characters max throughout the course of the game. But in Heroin Anthem 2, it's something like six or seven characters by the end. And while you can only ever have four people in your party at once, there's still a bit more variety in what you can do strategically over the course of the adventure. Anyways, I enjoy Hero and Anthem 2 a lot. So for RP Galooza, I give it a review score of 9 out of 10. Despite the fact that I know some of that is nostalgia, overlooking a lot of its flaws. Like, it's definitely got some issues with pacing, and it definitely feels like an older RPG, but it's not enough to sway me away from enjoying every other aspect of the game. And that's basically all I have to say about Hero and Anthem 2. Great game, and I love it. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video and would like to look forward to many more RPG reviews in the future, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in seeing me actually play through a variety of games in real time, make sure you follow my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Thanks for watching and see you next time.